Hi guys. This is your reading for the 8th through the 15th. This reading is for Capricorn. Capricorn. If you guys are interested in a personal, please go to the website, Gary and Jim, and select your reading from there. Let's see. What's going on with Capricorn? Who is this person? Who is this person? Okay. Who is this person? Hmm. Four of Wands. Aries energy. This is somebody that I, I feel is stable. Um, I feel like they are at an even keel. Um, and I feel like this person is somebody that is ready and willing to give you what it is that you want. Um, I feel like this person will return whatever it is that you're giving. I'm not sure if they will actually take the initiative towards you guys, but I feel like they're the kind of person that is at that point where they are wanting reciprocity and um, wanting to give it, okay? But I'm kind of getting the sense that this person will not take the initiative but if you were to come towards them they would definitely respond to to what you have to say and what it is that you want um, meet you halfway in other words okay I don't necessarily get that this person is in a relationship they may be so we'll we'll see what other cards um, come out for them okay could also be somebody that's married here for some of you then we have justice um this could definitely be somebody that uh has recently gotten married that you're dealing with libra energy here but um for others of you this is somebody that again is is ready to give you what you want um, ready to meet you halfway rather with justice coming here because justice is all about doing what's right for not just yourselves but other people too so different scenarios for for those of you okay and then we have the Empress here hmm for some of you Again, I, there there's two different situations here. There's somebody here that has recently gotten married and they're pregnant, or they're having a baby. Um, Taurus, Libra, Aries energy is very present for some of you guys, um, but this also is the situation where somebody is really wanting to give this a go, give it their all. You guys know your own situations. For those of you who this person is, has gotten um, married, this is somebody I feel like you haven't talked to in a while, or this is somebody that um, you already knew was with someone. If this is a situation where the person is married and is having a baby, you guys already kind of have an inkling of, of what was going on prior to this situation of them getting married and having a baby. You're familiar with this already. This is not something that's like, you know, taking you off guard, okay? <clears throat> and the six of wands. Um, I feel like this person is ready to give this a go. They're ready to give it a go. They feel like that um, you guys can be successful from here on out. But they re they really need for you to step it up yourselves because they want you to recognize the person that they are and what they are bringing to the table is what I'm getting here. Okay, Leo energy. And then we have the two of wands here again we have the two with the four of wands leo energy okay um they want you guys to re to recognize them and their efforts what they bring to the table who they really are uh don't like um what what what, what is the word i'm looking for here um they don't want to be taken for granted this person okay so this person knows that they want to get back with you but i feel like they're waiting here with the two of wands to see what it is that you guys are bringing to the table okay they want to see what 
what what you have to offer and if you guys truly are a match can you can you do this thing there's success on either side here okay the world energy here want to start over I feel like this person has been doing some work okay and I feel like you know Saturn rules the world energy this is Taurus Scorpio Aquarius and what's the other Leo here this is karma this is karma so I definitely feel like this person is really trying to bring some good energy, some good karma into their lives. They're trying to do um, what's good and what's just for both of you guys, um, for themselves primarily, because you have to start with yourself. So I feel like this person's definitely been doing some work. I feel like you guys have been in a cycle with this person um, and they've had to really kind of go through things and, and deal with other karmic situations on their own but I feel like this person is definitely ready to have a new beginning with you but um, there, there's something that they want to see coming from you okay then we have the Queen of Pentacles here Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy this person feels like you guys are the one they feel like you're the one I feel like they're ready to be there for you. They're ready to be supportive of you. They want to care for you um, in every way. But I want to—I'm I, getting that they want to feel um, respected and that you guys are going to do the same because relationships, you know, they—they they need reciprocity. They need transparency. And I feel like this person is looking for that. They're looking for any inkling of that coming from you guys. So if you haven't been in contact with this person. And you feel like maybe you should, then maybe you should. I'm not telling you guys to do that, but you know, you know your situations, okay? And then we have the Nine of Wands here. Mm -hmm. um, I, I definitely am getting that this person is on guard. Um, and they're not going to just wear their heart on their sleeve. They're not just going to um, bug you and, and, and try to get you to see things their way. They want you to come and approach them and let them know that you are ready to move forward, that you also think that you guys can be successful here, okay? Um, I, I, I get that they're, they're tired and they are very defensive about um, their livelihood and people not bringing them down and and having their energy interfered with okay Sagittarius energy what does this person really want with Capricorn what do they really want with Capricorn ten of wands they want you guys to share this load whatever that is all responsibility for this relationship should be shared okay they don't want to feel like they're doing all of the work they want to see that you guys are wanting to do the work with them okay I definitely am getting this person wants to start over here <clears throat> they're wanting to start over here I don't ooh, look at this the nine of swords the high priestess and death they want to see a change but a piece of them feels like, you know, maybe nothing has changed with you. But I don't think you guys would know it either way because I don't get that you're speaking. They kind of feel like, you know, maybe this is a wash. I feel like this person wants to break this silence between the two of you. And it's been weighing on them. It's been really weighing on them. Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini energy. Eight of Cups. I feel like this person definitely wants to share this burden. Not speaking, being separated, um, not talking about your feelings is really like, you know, wanting, is, is getting to them. I 
feel like they want to come back and they want to share with you that, you know what, you know, this is really hard. This has been really hard. Just being separated has been really hard. You know, they, they want to come back and, and share um, their lives with you. Start over. But they want something solid, though. I feel like this person, when you guys get back together, they are wanting to work towards marriage. They are wanting to work towards marriage, possibly propose. If you guys can get to a point where you're both like carrying the relationship together. The moon, but they're not sure. They're not sure. They're not sure of how you feel. They're not sure of where you're at. There's a lot of things that's unknown to them about what you guys are actually doing. They're not sure if you're with somebody and if you're dating. And so I feel like, in essence, this person is trying to protect themselves because they don't know what's actually going on with you guys here. So you have the moon and you have the high priestess over here. Cancer energy is here with this moon. But um, I feel like there's there's a lot that you guys just don't know about each other at this point. Because there's been uh, a silent treatment going on. From who? I'm not sure. But I feel like you guys aren't speaking. Definitely. Alright guys. So that's what I have for you. And um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.